This study started with the question of is anxiety uh, associated with metabolic disorder? In other words, could it be that the fat man in the old cartoon is anxious for a reason and not as a coincidence? And if he would, then we should see that as fat accumulation in the liver. So what Geula Hanin in the lab did was to create engineered mice where we have overexpression of this stress-induced microRNA 132 in all of the body tissues except for the brain, because if we included the brain, the mice never got born. Too much stress is not good for brain development. The mice that were engineered to overexpress this stress-induced microRNA showed fat accumulation in the liver, visible as red labeled droplets. The question we had next was, can we prove if this microRNA is really the cause for fat accumulation? To ask this question, we used the technology of antisense oligonucleotides. We synthesized a sequence that is inverse to the studied microRNA, which would interact with the messenger RNA and destroy the production of the target. We inject the oligonucleotide to the tail vein of these mice. You see that the liver shrinks after one treatment back to its normal size and color, and we lose the fat staining. And we interpret that to mean that the microRNA can offer an, a feature which might have been useful for the wild man in the desert who had to hide in a cave for months without food, except that we get stressed because Donald Trump tweets and still we have the same machinery. So this could have been a thrift gene, but perhaps today it's less useful to us. In order to measure whether the microRNA-132 has a causal effect on liver metabolism, we selected four major targets of this microRNA in the liver metabolism pathways. We then systematically knocked out uh, each one of these targets one by one and measure, measured the effect on the liver metabolites. What we found is that the combined effect of all these four targets uh, was not enough to explain the effect of the microRNA either with the antisense uh, downregulation or uh, with the overexpression through transgenic animals. And what we understand from that is that there is probably either a synergistic effect of this microRNA by affecting all four uh, major targets, or that there is other pathways that are yet uh, to be discovered, whether to the, the effect of this microRNA. This brings us back to the evolutionary issue. If this is a thrift gene, then could there be people who live among us and uh, operate differently, namely they accumulate fat in the liver which helped the wild man in the desert to survive. And actually there's a lot of individuals worldwide whose cholesterol receptor is uh, subjected to mutations and this is exactly what they do. So we bought a mouse from Jackson's lab without a cholesterol receptor and we could show that our antisense treatment is useful for those mice as well, but through different targets. Namely, the functioning of this microRNA is really complex and context dependent. For last but not least, we need to thank those funding sources that made this research possible, the donors who gave us tissues, the students and postdocs who did the work, and the uh, realization that science is complex in terms of timeline, networks, and personalized medicine. And as uh, Virginia Woolf said, the novelist should be both complex and specialized. We believe that this is very true for science as well.